Here at SHOT Show with Kelly Ann Pigeon of Armed and Feminine. So, obviously, there's so much to talk about with women and guns and women's shooting. Where, where are we right now? We're talking about 2017. We're talking about being at a show with so much representation of women, so many mm-hmm. women here. That This is such a burgeoning industry in general, but for women, it's, it's huge right now. Loving it, loving it. We still see male-dominated, especially here. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming over. I said, now I know what the salmon feel like, you know, swimming <laughs> upstream. And that's sort of what, what the women's movement has, has been like until recently. You know, we've been the salmon swimming upstream, but we've really begun to be embraced by a lot of the manufacturers mm-hmm. now and, and it had been a struggle for a long time and we're just a soaring force and we have so many wonderful ladies organizations right now that are promoting that and what's even nicer is that like I said the manufacturers are, are responding to us mm-hmm. just in terms of holsters that fit us guns that are lighter weight um, things that just better fit our bodies um, education for women, which is really, really big from a lot of the organizations that I deal with, a lot of education and empowerment for women. Um, so we're on the move, and we're here to stay, and, and it's it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> well, you say you're here to stay, but, you know, let's be honest. Uh, we know that women drive uh, shopping decisions. We know that women yeah. drive household decisions. Mm-hmm. Uh, women, just, the, uh, they pick where you're going to go on vacation, you know. Pretty much. So you guys, you, you <laughs> control a lot of the spending dollars. And the checkbooks. And the checkbooks. And the checkbooks, uh, So yeah. it, it's where you go. Everything else yeah. goes, correct? Yeah. And actually, last year, I think I said to John, too, you know, what, what the mom and the matriarch and the family believes, so will her children. And so the more women that we get involved in believing this, her children will just, you know, through osmosis of growing up, Mm -hmm. are going to learn that and respect all of that and continue all of this. And so when we say women will save the Second Amendment, (laughs) that's why, not just the checkbook, but what Mama believes the rest of the family will do too. All right, so you talked about the the, the manufacturers, and of course you're here and meeting with everybody. Right. Uh, Some of the women we talk to in this industry, they complain about the shrink it and pink it uh, factor, where where they all they do is make it smaller for your hands, and they put Mm. they slap pink on it. Uh, Where do you stand on the on that? (laughs) Well, uh, I love pink. Controversy. I love pink, but all of my (laughs) guns are are black or or the the sand color. I own no pink guns. I would have to agree. Um, there were some fellas here that I met with last year, and I loved their holsters. Their their concept was fantastic. And I said to him, look, you need to move this clip a little bit because we have different pants, hip bones. And so he actually got from the third floor to the second floor, um, first floor this year. And I said, hey, did you move it? And no, he didn't. <laughs> so I'm like, did you forget about me? So he's actually making one specifically for me with some ideas that I gave him and my my other girlfriend was with me too and we're like this is what we have he's like all right I'm gonna make that now um but right shrink it and in pink, pink it, it yeah, pink shrink, it, it, yeah it. shrink it and pink it is not necessarily where we are right um so there are, and when we look at women we have so many different body types heights widths you know curves um they almost need a whole specific line, mm-hmm. you know, to do that. So step by step, we're mm-hmm. getting there. I have found a lot more product out on the floors this shot show rather than last that is a lot more tailored mm-hmm. to our needs and really enjoying it. Yeah. Really enjoying when you it. talk about uh, getting women involved, you know, they come mm-hmm. to you first, say, hey, how do I, yeah. what do I do? What, what's, yeah. you know, elevator speech, mm-hmm. what, how should women get involved in the shooting sports? Uh, find, a, find a trainer. Yeah. Find a trainer. Um, I train women from, you know, 18 years old. I think my oldest has been 80. I actually did one class um, where 10 women, the youngest one was 64 years old, um, to wow. 80. Yeah, and it was one of the, the most fun classes that we ever had. They're, they want to learn. They want to do it correctly. They want to be safe. Mm-hmm. The first thing they want to do is be safe. And we always going to say, you know, don't, don't go to Uncle Buck up camp to teach you. <laughs> find somebody who is trained, find a trainer, and learn it. Because we need to touch things. Like, what is this called? What does it do? How does it work? Where are the directions? And Uncle Buck doesn't always teach those kinds of things. Right. And safety, safety, safety is always on the minds and the forefront of women. Um, so certainly find a trainer. You know, um, a lot of the organizations have them right online. Even when we go to nra.org, um, mm-hmm. we can find a class and you can look specifically if you want a woman. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of women, what I've learned, feel better or more comfortable, less intimidated with female instructors Mm -hmm. because they feel like they're not going to get shut down or or look stupid. I'm not going to look stupid. Exactly. It's the same thing there. Exactly. The women only gyms. Right. And actually, uh, this was only, I'm starting into my third season and I only did a very, very part time the first season. I doubled the number of women that I trained the second season and I'm going to double that again this year. I just like can't even keep up, which is a wonderful thing because we're starting that. Well, it's a grassroots movement, you know, do this all locally. And we find that they just can't get enough of it and they want more training and they want to do everything correctly. I actually have two students who are going to NRA instructor training um, this coming weekend.